Well, here we are. Second exercise. After the Lama Chu, I teach you something that is uh, to me basical as the Lama Chu. And then in another one, I will explain you how to use them. This is what I call in Italian the Sofietti. The Sofietti, they are little breathing. I invented it for a little boy of seven years old because uh, he was very nice, but he was very young and a bit stressed by his voice not properly working. So he had the right not to be totally collaborative. And uh, I had to my part was to invent something to have him not collaborative, but effective as he as he did. And as we, we did together, we had also a lot of fun and uh, now he talks normally and uh, very happy of that. So for him, I invented a slight different version of something that I make my students and professionals do for develop, not the breathing, but the, uh, the breathing muscles and the breathing, breathing change we need to, to sing. So, Sofietti. I'm sorry, I will remain with the Italian name. I decided to do that, it's quite fun. So you will find it and you will find it in that way. I start explaining. We start with the breathing out in a certain way. The specific way and the sound we are going to do will tell us if we are doing correctly or not. Exactly as with the sound with the vocal folds, the sound of the breathing will tell us if, the, if we are doing the kind of exercise we need or not. And that is nice because we can control that we are using the, the correct muscles. Even without straining the vocal folds, we will use the vocal folds just to sing and to do other kind of exercises and not for these purposes. It is to develop the sustain. It is to develop the correct sustain and also to start learning how to let your larynx follow the sustain and then to cover the sound. So, we imagine, because imagining will give up give us many tools to use the proper diaphragm that we are going to breathe out with a rhythm different and not always the same we are changing rhythmically and changing rhythmically also by surprise but this is the second step of this exercise what is, is important is that we don't breathe out in a line we breathe out by imagine that in the in the starting point of our throat at the end of the tongue and back of the tongue it starts round and it gets round, okay? It starts there round. It doesn't start from the lips round and not from the teeth and not from the internal of the mouth. But really, you have your tongue. At the end of the tongue, in the, in the throat, there it starts round. So what did I do? I did that out and I will present you how I do with my abdomen while I'm doing that. I'm doing, I come a little closer to make you hear well the sound. You will hear exactly the same sound into you. This is not done with the point of the tongue. You can help a bit with the base of the tongue for starting. Because sometimes if you don't use that, it will be very difficult for you to do. And, but it's just the starting point and you'll, you'll have to find by itself, okay? So I start round and I start going, um, it's like different in the rhythm, okay? To 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 boom, boom. But I don't do to 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 I don't start and then stop. I start, I suspend and I go, I suspend and then I push again and I suspend. Doing that, it will be exactly as with the correct sustain with the vocal folds. That will be, and we can interrupt the sound, but not interrupt the sustain. And make your vocal folds and your larynx being really happy. What is the true legato? That doesn't mean that your vocal folds have all the time singing with the sustain, but you are singing even without sound. This is another concept that I will explain another time. That is very important, and sometimes I have my professional remain Oh really? We can't sing without without making sound? Yes, of course. 
and that's how we do very difficult things and very difficult things in rhythm and in speed and sometimes also in uh, some pianissimo and some way of putting a phrase. Yeah, we do that. We do that all the time. It is a step forward. It's a higher level sometimes. It's just singing the notes and the pitch and just uh, having a bit of sound. But yeah, we do that. We study that. We look for that. Something possible. So our Sofieti. I, I, I breathe out in that way. Then, have you, as you have heard, my breathing out stopped and my sound stopped. So I basically was doing a suspension and up there without stopping the sustain, without stopping with the muscle. I'm not using the muscle properly from outside. I'm not pushing. You hear? It has changed the sound. If I use actively my belly, it will change the sound. Because this is not a proper sustain. This is something that we can do to start obtaining proper sustain. But proper sustain will have this sound. Look at that. I do the proper one. It does move. Not that much. And especially, I'm not moving it. I'm trying to start round. I'm trying to start fast and round, not with speed, just silly fast. By surprise in some sort. With the speed will be to be the back and it is not a sustain. It's very tricky to start that, but it's very easy to find if we try to start really fast, really with a speed that is so fast that we, don't, we can't push a speed. We just imagine the correct speed. And then we imagine round, and we look for round. It is basically impossible, in my experience, to do correctly round from the back of the throat, just with the back, and not with the correct, correct sustain. That's why I invented it that way. When we had the air, we go on in this suspension, that would be the apnea. Then I will let the air in, not with a big breath, not with my belly really going out, but just that little stretch that is the, it is the correct breathing. That it is not too big, not too small, not blocked, not pushed inside. A little passive with a sensation of a stretching. In this stretching, the belly will get outside a little. In this stretching, the stomach will get outside a little and then come back into and the upper part of the stomach eventually back, we come out and we will have our chest slightly opening. Slightly means we don't force that. We can do some other kind of exercises on that after and for color purposes and for uh, stylistic purposes. Not to start finding the sustain. We will overdo. I do it again. Control what I do on this side. This is the moment I suspend. Then I let in. And I wait again. Another suspension. And then I start again. <laughs> this exercise has to be done. You try first times for four times without interrupting. It is normal then you do and you can't find it. You do, you start finding something when you are the third cycle complete or the fourth. Or even after many times that you try to do that. But try to do that and write to me something. If it works, if it doesn't work, how it is the sensation, try to do it. And I will do another tutorial how to use that for other kind of exercises. Have a very good Saturday.